Right, we're back from the NEC show now. Um, we had a really good response to those four videos that we did at the NEC. And we added about 111 subscribers, which is fantastic. That's brilliant, wasn't it? It means we're 140 off the, the magic 1000. Um, so one thing I want to do before we start is, if you like our videos, yeah, give us a thumbs up and, and subscribe if you're not already. But one other thing I would ask is hit the share button. Share it to Facebook or to Twitter or, or wherever, or to send it to a friend uh, who might be interested in what we're filming. Uh, and that would really help us get to that 1000. So at the show, we looked at Practical Motorhome magazine uh, and what vans it recommended us to go and have a look at. And we yeah. started that with the first video. We tried to um, get a copy of Practical Caravan, didn't we? So we could do the same. It was sold out. But it was sold out. So we couldn't find a copy anyway. No, luckily we subscribed to Practical Motor, and I probably yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't get that either. No, so, no uh, so. so in the second video, we, what we were doing was we are actually looking at some of the vans that people asked us to have a look at. So it was a case of going and have a look at the, uh, I don't know, was the uh, Adria uh, range or uh, the Coachman range. Of, and it was so... We, we actually had a look at all sorts of different things, camper vans as well, mm. um, pop-up tents. So if you thought it was sort of going off the subject, we were actually just responding to what people were asking us, which I think is great because, yeah. If, yeah. you know, if you don't respond to what people want you to film, then what, what on earth are we doing? Yes, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in, in the end, those videos were so popular, we had nearly 20,000 views on them so far. Mm. Uh, that's probably more views than we've ever had on any of the videos we've done so far. That's right, yeah. No, it's, so that's really brilliant. brilliant. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, really Thank pleased. You. Yeah. I'm very pleased with that. The good news is I'm just about getting over this cold. Bad news is that I've still got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, and it is awful. It's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> anyway, we thought to, to, to lighten the mood and to look forward to some brighter days and lighter, warmer days we'll have a look at the trip we're planning, uh, our Euro trip in September. Right, so this is the, the route we're going to be taking. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a circular tour. We wanted to go a little bit further than we went um, last year. Uh, we only really sort of did a bit of Northern Europe. We want to get down into Germany. So, um, so we, we're starting really at Ashwell, where we're going to stop off at an overnight, or a couple of nights, couple visit, of nights visit so some visit friends. friends yeah. And, and then we're going to go down to Black Horse Farm, which is uh, uh, Dover, isn't it? Is it Dover? Folkestone. Folkestone, beg your pardon. Yeah. It's at Folkestone. Yeah. Uh, and then the following day, we're going to go over on the Eurotunnel uh, to Calais. Um, and then on to the next one, which oh, I've got to pronounce <laughs> it now, haven't I? Camping de Vivier au Carp. Which I think is something to do with fishing, isn't it? Yeah, they said there's a fishing lake there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll cover these sites in a bit more detail uh, in a minute. And then it then it's on to um, a place called Camping La Brobois. Yeah, and that's near Nantes. And that's near Nantes, yeah. So we're still in France. We're still in the France there. Two. And then we want to go into Luxembourg, which to a place called Nomalion. And that's a new site. We're looking forward to that. Um, then into Germany, uh, Rudersheim am Rhein, uh, in in the, the Rhine region, obviously. So um, we'll, we'll have a look, look around there. Uh, then on to Dendresch in in the Netherlands. Yeah. We're staying overnight uh, with a friend. Uh, like we did last year. Like we Flemish did last friends, year. Yeah. Our Flemish friend in Edigam, uh, in in uh, Belgium. Then we're on to Ypres which will be our last site, and then home via the tunnel and Grafen Water. So yeah. we're going to look at those sites in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I'm just going to look at a little video we did earlier uh, of the sites that we're actually going to. So the, the first one is Black Horse Farm uh, at, in Kent, Canterbury Road, Densol, Folkestone. And it's very handy for the tunnel. You book a ferry pitch, don't you, so that you can leave... Yeah. Or whatever time your ferry is. Yeah, the ferry pictures are at the front, so it's easy yeah. to get away. Just uh, behind there, aren't yeah, they? Just behind behind there. The... Yeah, just behind that. Yeah. It's quite a nice site, I suppose. There's nothing special about it. Then from there... We're... And then, obviously, from there, we were going on to uh, the uh, the next site. Through the tunnel. Through the tunnel, tunnel. obviously. 
Yep. <laughs> Missed that bit. And uh, yep. yep, that's the one. So we knew the sites we were going to, and this has really just sort of taken us through what the sites looked like. So this is a fishing This is a fishing place, lake, isn't it? isn't it, really? Yeah, and it's uh, going to be about 155 miles from the tunnel. Yeah. And take us about three and three quarter hours to get there. Yeah. Looks like you can park by the, by yeah, the river there. Yeah, yeah. So do, do if that you're then. If you doing some fishing. <laughs> yeah, and it says it's next to the pretty village. Yeah, San Quentin, so that would be quite nice. Yeah. So that's our first stop for two nights. Yeah. Then we're going to... To Le Braboy. Another Which two is nights. near Nars. 192 miles from the previous site. It's quite nice. They do look they? nice sites. I mean, a lot of them look like caravan club standard sites, don't they? Yeah. Mm. Barriers Just and everything. And everything yeah. And yeah. It's, it's ideal for dogs and motorhomes. Yeah. That seemed suitable. With the bus stop. Yeah, with the bus stop. With the bus stop. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that looks nice. You can hire a bike. And there's a playground. Yep. Yeah. It's not far from Strasbourg. We want to get Strasbourg. So this is the next one. This is Luxembourg. This is the first campsite in Luxembourg we've ever gone to. Nomalaya. Nomalayan. 98 miles from uh, a previous stop. About two hours it'll take us to get there. Game of Stone for two nights. Yeah. And this one has a paddling pool. Yeah. And it's a new site, so don't know anything about it. Then we're on to Rudersheim am Rhein, which is on the Rhine. In Germany. In Germany. 120 miles from the previous site, three hours from it. Erslich Velkommen. Yeah, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Really it's very nice. German. Yeah. It's the ideal for dogs and motors. Someone was disappointed. Yeah. Another one said well, it was the excellent. The lady on reception spoke no English. Oh no, what, in Germany? <laughs> I have to re redo your German. Right. Cable car. Yeah. Take you up in the cable car. Right, so then we go on to Den Dresch in the Netherlands. Valkenburg. Yeah, Valkenburg in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Netherlands. This is actually on a like a hill yeah. overlooking a castle. Yeah. Um, so it looks quite that's interesting. That's about 150 miles from the previous sites. Again, yeah. two nights there. There's the castle. Three hours to get there. Oh, some snow there. Yeah, I hope it's not like that when we go. <laughs> uh, it's a bit snowy, doesn't it? Easy access to much. Ideal for dogs and motorhomes again. Yeah. It's 15 yeah. minutes walk to the centre, so that would be yeah, good. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we're on to see Annie Mae in Edigam. Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit. This about... is in Belgium. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's, when it's not, we're staying outside a house, so yeah, we can't show so... where a house is. <laughs> no, but no. We thought we'd we'll show you a little bit that. on Wikipedia where, a where um, the, the town is. Um, Leo Tindemans, the former Prime Minister of Belgium, was born there. Yeah, yeah. And this Fort Five, which is quite interesting, that's a, a Napoleonic fort. Um, yeah. And we often go for walks there when we Yeah, dogs visited. love walking there, don't they? Yeah, yeah it's very really nice. nice. So there are lovely villages and towns yeah. in, in Belgium. Then still then, in Belgium. Yeah, in onto Eeps. You, oh, I can never say this. Jugstadion Leper. Yeah, and that's 82 miles from Annie Mead's house. Yeah. I'll just pull up the Google Maps thing here. So, yeah, so uh, there's the site. Very near the town, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. A key thing is the Menham Gate is right by. You can walk yeah. down to the Menham Gate. We went there last year. Yeah. We went to the uh, In Flanders Field Museum. Yeah. Yes. Which is very moving. Made a video about that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And because we've totally taken the dogs there, only for their pet passports on yeah. Friday, so we'll be joined by, by Glyn and Sharon won't yeah. we, for that yeah. time we're there. And lots of things to see here. A lot of war-related stuff, obviously. Um, the, the total war in Flanders, obviously the in Flanders Field Museum. But must-sees are the cemeteries, the museums, the monuments, the war sites. And then, and then back home, home through, through the tunnel, tunnel to Graffham Water. Yeah, which um, we haven't been. We used to go there quite a lot when we lived down south. Yeah, it was a lovely little site. It's a lovely little site, and obviously it's by Graffham Water. Would you believe? And it, Oliver Cromwell's cottage. Oh yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. So it is lovely. So as water. recommended by Oliver Cromwell. Oh, yeah, that's right. He <laughs> liked it there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's. Yeah. Yeah, you can cycle. It's there's lots of cycling. Site. I have cycled around Graffham Water once. Yes, you nearly, did. You nearly went killed the whole way me. <laughs> <laughs> no, very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. There so, we go. Yes. 
So that's that's it. Um, glass of water. We're there for two nights. Two nights before we before we come home. Head home again. Yeah. yeah. Screaming kids opposite who were on holidays with grandparents who were more interested in right. <laughs> <laughs> Or a peaceful and pleasant <laughs> site. It's always been peaceful and pleasant when we've been there. Yeah, one thing we must do is go to Duxford again. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we yeah. did that once yeah. when we were there. And there, there it is. There Oliver it is. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. Right, I've just got a little video to show you about how you go about booking sites. It's very much like how you book a caravan club site in the UK. If you go onto a caravan motor and club site and you choose overseas holidays, book an overseas site, Choose your country, Belgium, for example. The site you're going to is only three in Belgium, so it's nice and simple to show you. We're not actually going to Klein's Strand, but... <laughs> no, we might one day. I haven't been to a site in Belgium, have we? And you choose the, uh, the date you're going. We go yeah. to a site in Belgium? Yeah, but not through the... Oh, not no, through, through the, the, other, the club. other club, yeah, sorry. Of course we did. Bell. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> one in Ghent. One in Ghent, yeah. I think it was called then. So you choose the size of your motor or caravan up to 2.9 metres. How many adults? No adults going. No children going, you mean? Yeah, that as well. You get the whizzy whirly thing around. And it comes up with your site and then you basically if you're happy with it you book it it adds it to the basket the other thing uh, you can do on here is that you can add your Eurotunnel booking yeah it creates the basket and that you carry on adding the sites that you want to add yeah or your ferry tunnel of course, oh, or your it. ferry yeah and it's it's asks you you know you go from Folkestone to Calais and gives you the choice if you either want to go on the yeah. tunnel or you want to go um, on the ferry yeah and uh, so we booked all those together didn't we we had yeah. to pay a deposit yeah 75 pounds and uh, it's cost us 425 pound 10 altogether 244 for the tunnel. Is that what it says there? Yep. Right. <laughs> it's, it's all on the list. Yep, <laughs> of course. Ito is that fully itemised now? Yeah, fully, yeah, including the miles, the hours, hours. and estimated fuel cost. Yeah. Uh, the booking total, what we've paid already and what we've got to pay. Doesn't Obviously it's that, in pounds. Yeah, that doesn't include the ferry though. Does it though? That doesn't include the ferry, no, no. that's two hundred and forty four pounds on right. top. Right, so of it's that. about six hundred or something. Yeah. The whole thing, isn't it? That's yeah. right. Which is not bad really, is it? No, we've seen we're going for twenty, 20 nights. days. Yeah. Twenty nights. Twenty yeah. nights. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Um we will do a video obviously whilst we're away there. And yeah. uh hope you can come along and join us. So that's it for now. Um if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. <laughs> Hit the notifications icon, the, the bell icon, and you'll get updates when we release a new video. But like I said earlier, what would really help us get to a thousand is if you could share this video or share any of the other videos that you like. Uh, that would be really good. And get to a thousand before the end of March. We'll be really I'm pleased. Aren't yeah, I? be really pleased. So we'll see you for see you soon. soon. Yeah, soon. I think yeah. Yes, yeah. I think we've got, we'll. got a really exciting video coming up in the, in the following week. <laughs> um, perhaps not. But uh, we'll see you then. Yeah.